Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard, The Answer of Truth, Extra Booster, Sneak Preview, Booster Pack opening. We've got another sneak upon us already. It feels like the last one just happened, but the next Extra Booster one just came out. It is The Answer of Truth. We have three new clans in this booster pack, and they are Genesis, Great Nature, and Gear Chronicle, the three Gs. So I think we have two Force decks and one... Uh, I think it's Excel. No protects in this one, but really, really cool that we got uh, these three clans. Very excited for the Gear Chronicle uh, deck for sure. So like all sneak uh, entries, we got the eight entries to open for you all and the prize packs, which you never want to forget because I always have those at the end of the video as well. Uh, this sneaks promo is Stamp Sea Otter, as you can see here. It is, it almost looks like the old Stamp Sea Otter, honestly. It cannot be retired uh, by card effects. It can be chosen, so pretty much like the old one uh, to a T, art-wise and effect-wise as well. So without further ado, we have the eight entries. Oh, before I forget, we also have the, you can see it, not enough room with the whole camera, but the playmat consists of all three of the uh, clans from this deck. I'll have a better photo of the playmat also um, on a bunch of different sites where you can see it. So definitely look forward to that also. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in to the entries. We got the four packs per entry. Let's see how we do with the first one. Now I've said in the past, I think I've actually broken that streak, but I've actually done or can do pretty well with like the entries for the first couple packs. So let's see how we do if I can break that streak or if I'm going to pull all the Vanguard rares right from the first one. And we'll go through a couple of the commons just so you can see them for the first time. Goddess of Milky Way, play on. Uh, Gun, Bezel, Dragon, Strong, Starry Knight. And then the triggers are always at the end. We have an Alarm Chicken and Castanet Donkey, two front triggers for Grey Nature. And we have Steam, Mechanic, Naboo. And we have, yup, just as I called it, our first Vanguard Rare from the first booster pack, Interdimensional Dragon Mystery Flare Dragon. So as you can see, is a grade four with no gift because the whole uh, premise for Gear Chronicle is to, you know, place the grade fours onto the Vanguard Circle. So very, very interesting for sure. Awesome. Can't wait to uh, play this deck just because it's like a whole new take on uh, Gear Chronicle and Standard in general. So definitely am looking forward to that. All right, on to pack number two. If I get another Vanguard Rare from this set, I, from this entry, I swear that they really have to, uh, like, you know, better shuffle all of their cards. Witch of Big Pots, Laurier, and Steam Bomber Digui for our triggers. We have Witch of Cats, uh, Cuban. And we have Pencil Knight Hamsuke for our rare. So we didn't pull a hollow from that one. But like I said, we did pull a Vanguard rare from the first pack. So that was definitely awesome there. We've got three packs. Or not three packs. Pack number three coming along. So they have some rememberable units. But I think Gear Chronicle actually got uh, all new uh, units in this set for them. Uh, Roly Poly Worker, that's a cute draw trigger for sure. Steam Artist Abi Rata is the perfect guard for the rare version for Gear Chronicle. And we have the draw trigger perfect guard right after that. Steam Guard Castilla, or Castilla, I think is how you pronounce it. Very, very nice looking for sure. Uh, our limb would be proud for, you know, the old perfect guard for Gear Chronicle, just with how they, uh, you know, designed this one for sure. So... Last one. We got two hollows so far from this, but I think they usually at least try to give at least two hollows with each one. So, not bad there. Quickie, quickie worker. I thought it was quirky, quirky worker for a second. Steam hunter, the pit. Ruler chameleon. I do love the new art for Ruler chameleon. That looks really, really cool. They did justice for it. Slit pangolin. We have pencil squire ham suke for our rare. And look at that. From the first entry, we pulled two vanguard rares. They really, that's going to be so unfair if one of these entries has two double rares. Because then, at, you know, at entries that people pull, you're pulling two vanguard rares. Well, some people are probably going to pull two double rares. That's so not fair. And I'm sure this has done and happened in the past. That's just completely unfair ratio wise but yeah i look at that school hunter leopold the vanguard rare for great nature looks really cool but we ended up pulling two vanguard rares from one entry so definitely not fair at all um on that point basically but on to entry number two so we'll just we'll basically just go down the line then and open them like that see how we do from this one 
So we have Goddess of the Milky Way to start us off. Steam Expert, Xerix. Steam Doctor, Martash is the heel trigger for Gear Chronicle. Triangle Cobra. We have Administrator of Hope, Pandora. This is the Genesis Perfect Guard. And Geograph Giant for our rare. What have you done? You've made him a 9k. He used to be a 10k. If it is on an additional rear guard, it gets plus 8,000. So it's a continuous effect, so that's not bad at all. Makes up for that power, uh, negative power they gave to him. But like I said, it's a definitely a cool set, especially if you want to build uh, one of these clans for sure. I know a lot of people that have been excited for a couple of these clans. We have Battle Maiden, Izunahime, and another Pencil Squire, Hamsuke, for our rares. Yeah, look, compare this entry to the first one we just pulled, and it is completely unfair, ratio-wise, unless this one pack makes up for it, which I highly doubt. We have Cyber Tiger for Genesis, Talisman Angel for Genesis, we have Steam Mechanic Naboo for the rare. And yeah, look, three rares in a row from this one. Witch of Cats, Cuban for the other rare. The only way this pack will make up for it is if it's a secret Vanguard rare. But still, that is quite insane for sure. Let's see how we do. We've got Pencil Knight and Hamsuke for the rare. And we've got Battle Maiden, uh, Shitu, Shitaturu Hime. I know this card's been uh, reprint, not reprinted, but this was an old card as well for Genesis. And sorry if I butchered the name. I know that's probably not how you pronounce it, but very, very nice. Uh, double rare at least. But if you were sitting next to the person at, you know, Sneak, and you just saw him pull two Vanguard rares and you only pulled a uh, double rare, I would definitely be a little salty for sure just with those ratios. Quickie, quickie worker for the starting off. There's Barcode Zebra. Alarm Chicken, Castanet Donkey. We have Twilight Hunter Artemis for our rare. And we have our, what I believe, yep, our first triple rare, Pencil Hero Ham Suke. So he's all decked out in the tank and he's got the Excel Circle. He actually has a very interesting effect too because he grants an additional imaginary gift and calls Ham Suke units. So much, much better than his old uh, version for sure. So great backup for great nature for sure. All right, good start on the third entry there. Let's see if we can continue that luck. We've seen most of the commons, like I said, with the extra booster sets. There's not too, too many commons to go around, so we'll quickly go through those ones, unless I see one that I don't think we've seen yet. We have a Pencil Squire, Hamsuke, for our rare, and Eternal Goddess, Iwanaga Hime, for our uh, double rare, a Force Marker too for Genesis, and very, very nice. I think we get a good number of different um, grade threes as well for Genesis, including Iwanaga Hime and also, I think, Artemis and um, uh, Hiori, I think is her name. We'll find out if we do pull her, but I believe that is her name. Let's see how the next pack looks. We've got a Steam Mechanic, Naboo, and Witch of Cats, Cumin, for our rare. All right, last one from the first. Let's see how we do with this one. Oh, I think I see some foiling. We have Battle Maiden using Ahime for the rare. And we have, yep, Speak of the Devil, Battle Deity of Night Artemis. So she is a triple rare. I couldn't remember what her rarity was, but very, very nice. This is all your units with Divine Gauge cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects and get plus 5,000 in the trigger effects that this unit gets. So it's an interesting take. Um, I think that the whole Genesis Clan 4 standard works around uh, trigger units. So definitely cool for sure. Uh, it's not one of the decks. I know one of my friends, if not two of them, I think I can recall, are building uh, Genesis. So any of my support I have will most likely go to them because that's what they're building. So we've got Roly Poly Worker again. Uh, Steam Artist Abirata for the rare. And Administrator of Hope Pandora for the other rare. But yeah... Looking mostly for Gear Chronicle. I know the Grade 3 lineup for Gears are going to be Triad Dog. You're not Silver Wolf, but definitely reminded me of him. Going to be cool for sure, just to see what my Grade 3 lineup will be. I know it's going to be small compared to all the Grade 4s you have to run. But other than that, I uh, don't think I've pulled this rare yet. Wedge Move Dragon. Uh, I think the whole basis of the deck is to kind of search out and guarantee that you will have at least a Grade 3 so you can consistently go into your Grade 4 units. 
But yeah, Dictionary Goat is the heel for Green Nature. We have Speculate Chipmunk. Now, looks very, very familiar. I'm just glad we can use uh, Cable Sheep for our, the perfect guard for Green Nature. I would not like to run this one. And we have, there we go, Interdimensional Dragon Knight Lost Legend. Now, this is the grade three that you will use for Gear Chronicle. It looks so cool for sure, um, but it uh, has a discard effect. Search your deck for a grade four, ride it as stand, shuffle your deck at the end of the turn, retire that unit, and ride a grade three from your soul as rest. So definitely a cool, cool effect for sure. And when rode upon, you, soul, you uh, counterblast two to draw a card. So you benefit from uh, the rode upon as well which is awesome. All right, last pack, and then we're halfway through all of the entries. Let's see how we do. We got, Cy I think T Cyber Tiger was a trigger for Genesis. We have Twilight Hunter Artemis, and another Gear Chronicle Perfect Guard, Steam Guard Castilia. Is there an I there? Yeah, there is. Castilia, sweet. And yep, we're halfway through, but don't forget we also have the prize packs, which are the seven to open afterwards. And I always like to see just what the ratios are for the prize packs compared to the sneak entries. I always seem to pull pretty well from them. So no complaints there. So going on to the next couple packs. We've got Pencil Knight Hamsuge and Armed Instructor Bison, so another backup grade three uh, for Hamsuke's grade three and Leopold. So like I said, I do love that they're giving us ratios and just good differences and different options for all the different uh, grade threes in the set. I know they usually do that to protect a good amount, but I haven't really seen it done to force or excel decks as much. Maybe like a rare with the, the gift marker, but not so much, you know, hollows. But two perfect guards again. Still seeing trends also where you get the same rares from booster packs also. So I saw that with the Gear Chronicle and the Genesis perfect guard. Next pack. We've got Bowstring of Heaven and Earth Artemis. I don't think we've pulled this one yet, but she was originally part of the old ride chain for Artemis, if you remember. And we have another triple rare for Great Nature, Binoculus Tiger. So definitely cool art uh, that they did for this one. I remember he was kind of facing the camera more on his other one, and that's the origin art too that you can get. So very, very nice for sure. All right, this pack looks like it was a little bent on that corner, but hopefully the cards are okay inside we'll find out deity of shepherds volos it's just a 10k grade two with a bigger shield uh geograph giant and we have goddess of self-sacrifice kushinata very very nice for the draw trigger like i guess i like all the uh remade draw triggers only gear chronicle didn't get a remade one because they obviously already had like, I don't know why. They just wanted to make all the units for Gear Chronicle new. I'm guessing because there wasn't any from Season 1, I was my guess. Or they just didn't want to have anything linking to, you know, G format. Nothing connected to Chrono Jet, maybe. I don't know for sure. Tank Mouse. And we have Monoculus Tiger, double rare, for our Hollow from this pack. Now, he looks much more scarier in this one, that's for sure. But all the... All much more cooler, at least. And I think we usually end up pulling at least one of every hollow. But like I said, the extra boosters don't have as many hollows as the main boosters. So doubles are at least, you know, easily guaranteed. Wedge move dragon. And I think, yep, our last perfect guard we need to pull is Cable Sheep. Um, it was the first perfect guard for Great Nature. So I do love the art of this one. It doesn't seem as lazy on that card art. I got to the trash out of the way before we can continue. Making sure these were just wrappers over here as well. But yep, so we got two packs left. And then we have two more entries and the prize packs. So let's see how we do. We've got Battle Maiden Izuna Hime and Pencil Squire Hamsuke. I want to build like a budget deck of great nature. I think like using Hamsuke as your main might not be a bad idea just because for. Those are the people who can't afford Leopold or just can't get them. Like I said, using Armed Instructor Bison and then uh, Hamsuke seems like a pretty fine option. Steam Mechanic Naboo for our rare. And another Battle Maiden Shitaturu Hime. I think I got it right that time, maybe. Very cool. All right, we're down to the last two entries. So let's see how we do.
As I think we've seen all the uh, commons. And as I say that, I can't recall if I've seen Heavy Brain, Mormodon, or not. But roll, you've definitely seen Roly Poly Worker, Wedge Move Dragon, and Twilight Hunter Artemis for our rares. Let's see if we can get some hollows from these last two entries. Oh, there's Silver Wolf. If it is in the back row, it gets plus four. So not too bad. Uh, power kind of card. We have a screwed dragon. That's a force marker one again. And we have Battle Maiden Sahohime. So this is a, another triple rare for Genesis. Grade two, she used to be the counter blast one, soul charge three when her attack hits. Now she uses a counter blast one, soul blast two, draw two cards, put a card from her hand to soul, and it's a shield increase. So that's not bad. It's set up, basically, I would say. But still cool, nonetheless. Let's see. Since we're winding down, aiming for the stars, Artemis. That's the starter, okay, for Genesis. So it was the old ride chain starter. They, it's cool that they kept it the starter. Speculate Chipmunk and Lost Break Dragon. Almost looks like the grade three for Gear Chronicle, but it's a grade two. When placed uh, from hand, bind a card from your hand, draw a card. And during your turn, if your bind zone has a face-up card, this unit gets plus 3,000. So it's basically 13K on rear guard if you have two in your hand for the setup. Very cool. All right, last pack from this entry. So let's see how we do. We've got a screwed dragon again, and another bowstring of heaven and earth, Artemis. And we've got the prize packs, which I'll set right there, and we'll go right into the final entry pack. I'm mix, actually, I'm gonna move those off to the side. I don't want to mix them up with the final entry. I, want, I like to compare just, you know, how the box is originally set up, so don't want to get them mixed up. We've got a, another Speculate Chipmunk and another Screwed Dragon, so those are where all those were. I noticed I didn't pull any Screwed Dragons earlier on in the video. We pulled them all just at the end there. And for this one, we've got, oops, Tank Mouse for our rare, and we've got Interdimensional Dragon Idealized Dragon. I thought we pulled another, uh, I believe it is, let's look real quick. Is it called Mystery Flare? Yep, Mystery Flare Dragon and Idealized Dragon. So these are the two grade fours I think you can run in the deck. Very, very awesome. They almost look similar, but um, you can see the differences obviously in the card arts. So very, very nice for sure. And we've got two packs left here. So let's see how we end it. We've got Bowstring of Heaven and Earth, Artemis, and another Cable Sheep, Perfect Guard, sweet. And like I said, I know the ratios for the extra boosters are you usually get three Vanguard rares, or at least two Vanguard rares, and one Secret Vanguard rare, or an Origin rare. So hopefully we still got one left to pull. Tank Mouse and Battle Maiden Izunahime, which means it's most likely in the, oops, as I knock over all the commons, prize packs, which we've got left. So let's see how we do with these. We've got Silver Wolf starting us off, Artemis. We've got Witch of Cats, Cumin and Pencil Knight Hamsuke for the rare. Let's see what we got. We've got Goddess of the Milky Way, play on. And we've got Twilight Hunter Artemis for the rare and another Speculate Chipmunk. I feel like we pulled that one so much more than the other ones, but it might just be because we've just been pulling all of him at the end, but I think I've at least pulled five. You can remember how many Speculate Chipmunks I've pulled throughout the whole video. Let me know down below. Just seems like it's a lot more than the other ones that want to get caught up. Now let's see, is the Genesis one behind in this one? Yep, that pattern continues with these packs. Four packs remaining. So hopefully there's still one more Vanguard Rare or Origin Rare or Secret Vanguard Rare left to be pulled. We'll find out. Geograph Giant and Wedge Move Dragon. I'm definitely winding down though. Let's see. We've got Bowstring of Heaven and Earth, Artemis, 
And we've got, I thought it was going to be a Seeker Vanguard rare just because that color scheme seemed a little uh, vibrant. We have Battle Deity of the Night Artemis again. So I, we definitely pulled a good amount of ratioed hollows for sure from this one. I don't think there was one clan that definitely exceeded all of the other ones. But I guess our final Vanguard rare. We'll decide that. We've got Tank Mouse for the rare. And there she is. So we at least pulled one of each from this box. Oracle Queen Himiko. So it's Himiko. I think I said Hiyori earlier in the video. But nope, Himiko is our last Vanguard rare. So awesome. We did pull one of each at least. Very nice. But let's see if we can end it with one more hollow in the final pack. So for the final pack, we end off on... We've got a screwed dragon for the rare, and we've got another Monoculus Tiger. So we at least did that. We ended on a double rare. So all in all, it was pretty good. I think the holo ratio followed trend with the other uh, sets. Uh, definitely very, very nice. Can't wait to build uh, Gear Chronicles. So definitely look forward to this deck profile, plus all the other ones as well, once my friends complete those deck profiles, and also the budget versions as well. Um, I know you all like that series uh, for sure, so definitely going to continue it. Until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Qualia out!